Welcome again to the part-time preppers. Um, I'll try to make this a quick video on this very cold uh, February day. I just looked outside, it's 10 degrees. Uh, anyway, stopped at a local coin shop uh, and I needed to get some air tights. That's really all I wanted to get with some odd size air tights. However, of course, uh, we had to look at the silver and we had some small pickups and I'll go over them with you right now. Uh, but anyway, here we go. Uh, Peace Dollar, 1924, uh, graded MS-63. We don't have any uh, graded Peace Dollars. I have several Morgans, and I thought, if, just for comparison, uh, you know, you could look at this and see if your other ones measure up. Maybe they're a little, a little more worn, uh, maybe not as much luster, but just something to, you know, for sure what it is. Uh, and uh, I'll give you close-ups of these at the end of the video. But uh, it was $38. Uh, I looked it up on Epmex. They're running $44.95, so I don't feel too bad about the $38. Uh, I guess it was a decent investment. So there's the first one. And the Scottsdale Silver uh, Bar, uh, first one of them we have, uh, that was $19. Maybe not the greatest deal of the century there, but uh, she had about 40 of them, so I just had to pluck one from her. And, uh, and a very nice bar. As you can see there, and some odd uh, coins here. Um, these are 1967 uh, Canadian quarters. I didn't know this. I, I'm not real big into Canadian coins, but after watching a lot of you nice people on YouTube, I started getting into them a little bit. And in 67, I know uh, a lot of Canadian uh, from the 60s, 50s is 80% silver, but in 1967, they changed half of the coins apparently are 50% silver and the other are 80%. So you have two different uh, silver uh, amounts in the quarters in 1967. At least this is what I was told. Um, please correct me if you know more information about it. But um, So a little, a little something different, a little something odd. I don't think I would be collecting rolls of these because uh, you won't know for sure. Uh, you know, how much silver is in them. <laughs> but they are very, very uh, lovely and shiny and silver-like. And last, uh, did not get this at the local coin shop, uh, my youngest little prepper, uh, JR, picked this up. She's in college and um, she works as a cashier and I've been teaching her what to look for. And this is a 74S Ike. Now, this I'm thinking this came out of a proof set. I'll give you a close-up. I do not, do not know for sure if this is the the all-clad variety or the 40% silver. And I, I, I has a nice tone to it. It may be the silver one, I'm not sure. But either way, it was a very nice pickup for uh, JR to pull from the cash register. Of course, she put a dollar back in. And, um, and now for something a little more important. Uh, one of my subscribers, uh, Brian the Log. That's uh, Brian Space the log, no space in the log, uh, has a, a family emergency, uh, niece was born uh, prematurely, um, they're not in the country, um, he is, but his family, they're not, and they're trying to raise some money on a site, GoFundMe.com, I'll leave, I'll try to leave a link, um, in the video to that, and, uh, they have a lot of medical expenses, and uh, he's a regular in the silver stacking community. And uh, I'm a little hesitant to be using my credit card or debit card for such things. However, I did check the site out. They've been established since 2010. GoFundMe. They have a A rating with the Better Business Bureau, so uh, I felt comfortable. And I donated the other day, and I checked it out, and everything went through okay. So. You know, we, we, we give our credit cards and debit cards to many coin companies and some we know well, some we don't, and other businesses. So do not be afraid because of that. And um, that's about all I have to offer today. Uh, again, I'll show you a few close-ups, maybe add a little music to it. So uh, you take care until the next time. Bye-bye.